So here's a quick tip on how to make do with what you got. All right, well, if you're really in a bind and you need a bushing to adapt from a Cat 1 pin to a Cat 2 sleeve, and ain't nobody got time to go to the store for that, you can make your own from some 3 quarter inch pipe or, in this case, nipples because that's what we have laying around, schedule 40, standard weight. Now you got to size the OD to 1 and an eighth and the ID to 7 eighths. However, the 3 quarter inch is slightly smaller than that. So you take a slice out of the side, spread it apart a little bit with your uh, wedge, then find a random socket to drive through there to kind of swage that open. Beat on it a bit all the way around it to make it nice and round. We might be five thousandths off on the OD, but don't tell anybody. And the ID is about thirty thousandths bigger, but you know, that's just for ease of removal. Now I know that these adapter bushings are like a couple of bucks and they're not expensive or very hard to find but when you don't have them on a Sunday afternoon and you don't want to drive to the store or wait to get them, you got to make something work. And I have looked through the scrap pile and we do not have the proper size tubing. Now I know this isn't the correct way to do things and admittedly it's a little bit hack but you know what, it gets the job done. And in general, being able to make adapter bushings uh, out of material that you have that's not quite the right size is always a good skill to have in your bag of tricks. In this case, you know, we cut a slot here and we expanded this bushing open. You can do the same when you need to go down a size. You can find all the different pipe size charts online to give you your OD and uh, wall thickness on what uh, your schedule pipe you got. But basically, if you need to take it down a size, you cut a slot out of it. You know, you could do all the maths to like pi r cubed the uh, diameter circumference, you know, or just wing it and kind of eyeball how much you take out. Measure nunts, cut thrice. And once you've removed it, you just hammer that thing closed and kind of, you know, round it out a little bit. And there you go. Pieces of electrical conduit work good for thin wall. And even copper or exhaust tubing. You never know what you might need. You can even make adapters with different types of hose. 